Princeton has shot one free throw all day. They'll be shooting on the next foul. Arizona right now has possession of the ball. Princeton is out of timeouts. 350 right now to go. One possession game. I get the I get the ball to Ewoma right in the middle of the floor. Let him make a play, give him some action on the strong and weak side. That's what they're doing. Ten now times you... in tournament history at two over a 15. They've got an opportunity. That goes for Landbark. Great play design. And now we got a ball game. Larson on a drive, had it blocked and taken out of the air by a guy playing with four fouls, Caden Pierce. Look at Princeton, they're not in a hurry. They're going to walk it up the court, eat, eat this clock, get the ball to their star in the middle of the court again. And I look at that action on the strong side. He has the ability to go weak side or take his man off, off the dribble. Pierce with 10 on the shot clock. Aloma, Henderson on him. Here's a three ball for the lead. Rebound off to Ramey. I'll tell you what, Princeton is executed. That shot didn't go down, but man, those, they're getting some really good looks. Kurt Greesa backs it out momentarily. Ramey long three. Aloma with a rebound. Princeton ball, 2.38 to go. That three, no good either. And Pella Larson pulls it down for the Wildcats. Ahead, Henderson, tough catch. Slow it down and get it inside. And they're going to call a timeout. <laughs> Great timeout. Tommy Lloyd says, my guys are going too fast, and we're only up one. Timeout. Two minutes, 24 seconds left in regulation here in Sacramento in the South Regional. Number 15 seed Princeton down one to the number two seed, Arizona. Three-point field goals. Arizona's missed seven straight. Blake Peters has had a couple big ones. The only two three-pointers for Princeton in this half. Anytime Arizona's got that screen and roll with Tabellas, and then you have Balo inside on the weak side, that's going to be a good-looking play for them. See what they do coming out of the timeout. Ramey looks for a pick and goes the other way. Trying to leave it, and out of bounds to Princeton. Bounced off to Bellis. I think they got to get the ball in his hands early in the possession. And Ramey right here making a good play. Iwoma just came off the weak side, and that's what you're supposed to do as a weak side defender. Get in there and break that up. It's a 12th Arizona turnover. And a costly one at the two-minute mark. Off the window for the lead for Lambert. Princeton in front. First time they've led this half. First time they've led this game. Ramey on a runner. Didn't get it. Rebound is loose. Everybody hits the deck. Possession arrows, Arizona. This is a strong drive. Goes right into Henderson's chin. Looking for all the contact right there. Could have been possibly a hand one. Arizona ball with a minute 37 remaining. If you're Arizona, it's real simple. That guy with the number 10 jersey on, he needs to get the ball. And a mop up the court. There's about six guys were on the deck right there at the free throw line. Kirk Reese the inbound on the baseline. They give it right back to him. And now the bounce pass is intercepted. And trying to get it to Ballo. And Alaco comes up with it. Got to include your best player in the action right there. You're on the ropes. Let your guy get it. You see, what, Pri you see what Princeton's doing? It that's a good Somebody, got a, Somebody got a piece of that from behind. That was Balo. Excellent block. Big fella covered a lot of ground right there. One minute left in regulation. Two seed Arizona down by one. Ramey 
Going to work. Fadeaway is blocked on the baseline by Langborg. And that is an excellent block. Tough shot by Ramey, though. Tries to create space with the shoulder. <clears throat> Return to center. Great defense. Arizona takes its final timeout. Woo. 50 seconds to go, one point game. The Tigers have six block shots today. Arizona has one. I would have never, I would have lost the bar bet on that one. <laughs> the Arizona fans can barely watch. There is eight seconds on the shot clock as well. So you set up a play, you use your last time out, you better come up with something good. You're on the baseline. You need to get the ball into Tabella somehow, some way. You can either put him right in front of the ball and throw it directly into him and let him go to work, or you can run some type of cross screen or pin down action. But he has to get the ball. There's only eight seconds. The Pac-12's leading scorer needs to touch the rock. He hasn't gotten it the last three to four possessions, and that's why you're in this position. Ian Ballow are the top two scorers. On the outside, it's been Ramey in the second half, but he just had one stuffed in his face on the baseline. That could have given them the lead. Princeton on a 6-0 run. It'll be Kirk Creesa to inbound on the baseline. There's what we're talking about. I'm throwing it straight into him. Well, he's standing right, he's right in front of Creesa. Yeah, I would let, let Larson flatten it out. I'm throwing the ball straight into him and saying, big fella, take us home right now. They got a wall, or they're trying to make a wall around him. Nobody's moving right now. They don't want to give away what they're planning. It's going to be Pierce on him. They lob it into it. Tabellis up with a left hand. It's short. The rebound is Princeton. You don't have to foul. You do not have to foul. Arizona just has to play solid right here. Langborg, they work it around the perimeter. Aloma. He's going to get double teamed. He kicks it out. Martini thought about a shot. Baseline pass. And a foul underneath. And it's going to send Caden Pierce to the free throw line. Biggest two free throws of this young man's life. Caden Pierce, Ivy League Rookie of the Year. His dad, Greg, was a football player at Northwestern. His mom was a star volleyball player at Northwestern. His brother's still playing basketball overseas. He's got a brother that plays wide receiver for the Colts. Can he be a hero here? A 65% free throw shooter just buried the first one. That's his brother that plays for the Colts. I didn't know that. He's on my fantasy dynasty team. <laughs> <laughs> sure he is. This guy's going to be on some fantasy dynasty team if he hits this free throw, and he does. Two free throws for the 65% free throw shooter. One possession game. Arizona needs three to send this thing to overtime. You don't have to jack a three, though. Get a quick two if you can. 15 seconds left. Ramey, long ball. That's not it. Air ball. That's not it. Ballo tries to keep it alive. Kreshaw, no good. Princeton's going to keep dancing. Wow. A Woma fouled on the rebound. Some of the Arizona players beside themselves. Ramey, who took that shot, just got off his knees. Tubelis walking up the court with his hands on his hips. If these free throws go, the Tigers will prevail in a catfight of their life. Princeton an 8-0 run. Hosan Awoma has not been to the line today. He only needs one. It is a, a, 60, a one, but it's a one and one. 65% free throw shooter. There's the big one. As Brendan said, you only need one. 
Now if you're pressing, that's a good move. Get off the line. Get off the line. Play solid defense. No fouls on the three-point shot. A 15-point day for Tosan Awoma. This would be the capper. No good. Arizona with a prayer that will not go. And the Tigers of Princeton growl their way into round two as they upset the number two seed Wildcats of Arizona. Princeton ended the first half on an 8-0 run. They ended the game on a 9-0 run. Wow. It's March. I've been shot. So are the Wildcats. Arizona coming into this game averaging over 80, only getting to 55. And I think the biggest thing that shocked me was Princeton was able to get this victory only shooting 4 of 25 from the three-point line. Only nine assists to 11 turnovers. Princeton didn't even play their best basketball, but yet we are here right now. So 27 years ago, it was a win over UCLA. Pete Carrill. Now it's Mitch Henderson, who was the point guard on that team. It's his turn. He's with Dana and the star of the game. Guys, thanks, Coach. You couldn't hear this, but they were just referencing Pete Carrill and his huge win, and you were a point guard for Coach Carrill. How does it feel to be the coach getting a win like this with these guys? We've, we've enjoyed the, the guys who I played with. The UCLA win for a long time, and um, so these guys get that opportunity now, and um, they did it. They, they, that was a long time ago, but this group, I mean, we were down the whole game. Uh, that was awesome. I thought it was going to be improbable, and they're so good, Arizona. I'm just so proud of Tosan and his teammates. Coach was telling us yesterday, talking about the composure that he wanted you all to have, to go out there and play your game and play the style the way that you did enjoying this moment. Tosan, how were you able to do that in the second half? Yeah, we have great confidence. You know, we were, we came in, you know, wanted to get it done, and we did. We had full confidence that we could, and we executed really well. We had a great um, game plan from the coach, so that gives us confidence to, you know, stay composed and, and do what we need to do. Does getting a win like this in this moment over the two seed feel as good as maybe you may have thought it would? I think so, yeah, I think so. <laughs> it feels great. It feels great. Congratulations to both of you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. What a win for the Princeton Tigers. Heartbreak for the Wildcats of Arizona. The tournament continues now on TBS with Illinois and Arkansas. And TNT has Auburn and Iowa at 6.50 Eastern. We'll send you to our studio after these messages. Princeton, a winner here in Sacramento.